What's up, Retro Maniacs? Show Day coming at you from Mike's Retro Trading Cards. And today it's Mike's Retro Comic Books because I have a CGC unboxing blind reveal. Let's get to it. Hit the music. All right, I can't do an unboxing of Silver Surfer comic books without Silver Surfer fan Mike Lutz with me. Absolutely. What's going on, Mike? I would not miss this. It's going to be <laughs> exciting. So just a little background of these comic books real quick. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, my partner's dad passed away, um, you know, towards the fall and uh, the fall of last year. And Rob actually went through and randomly helping his mom clean up his dad's office, randomly found comic books. Wow. We had no idea, you know, why he had them, where he got them from. <laughs> uh, he had some Disney comic books, which surprisingly aren't worth that much. I was actually hmm. really shocked by that. But he sent me pictures of Silver Surfer comic books. Nice. I remember texting you saying, Mike, are you sitting down? And I sent you a picture of Silver Surfer number one from, I believe, 1969. So wow. he, he brought those uh, back to Pittsburgh. I looked them over. I sent them to CGC to be pressed and graded. And within, I think, two, two and a half months, they are here. Well, Mike, throw up the dates. Just throw up the dates. At the I will. End. There it <laughs> got it. I got it. Don't you see them there? <laughs> So here is our, our big box. This is a little oh different God. than a PSA reveal. Knife. And I've got the big knife. So let's get into it. Oh, God. I didn't expect great grades in these. I'm thinking, you know, threes and fours maybe. But again, I know nothing about comic books. I know. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I used to is, sell them. I used to read them. Yep. But I don't know anything about grading them. Ooh, this packaging great. Look at that Ooh, packaging. Pretty nice. Very nice. Um, I will say that uh, the process was really easy. And, oh, this packaging is great. It's killer, right? Wow. I know. Uh, okay. Let's get them out. The process was really easy. And um, I, I recommend uh, having, them, um, having them press them in-house. That way they're not. I know there's third party people that uh, press comic books, which is kind of funny as someone who is a a, a card guy. You know, you're not allowed to you're not allowed to, you know, clean up cards yeah. before you send them off. So. All right. This is our first one. This is Silver Surfer number one. Whew. OK, let's see what we got here. We've got. A 5.5. Wow. Look at that, huh? That is nice. That is pretty sweet. It's got off-white pages, which it's a comic book from 1969, so that is yeah. not shocking. But big premiere issue, 5.5. Origin of the Silver Surfer, Tales of the Watcher Begin, Origin of the Watchers. So wow. very, very cool comic book. That's a great cover, too. Yeah, the looks really great in the slab too yeah i love i love comic book slabs they're just unfortunately mm -hmm. it's like having a coffee table book <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know they're, trying to, they're a little bigger yeah yeah but. trying to find a way to to put them out there but yeah very very cool nice mm -hmm. i i think that's a win yeah 5.5 from a comic book that was just sitting in uh in mike's uh office or rob's dad was also named mike for those of you wondering why <laughs> i wish i had that in my office. <laughs> All right, the next one should be uh, Silver Surfer number three, which is the origin of Mephisto, I believe. So we will see if that is the case. Silver Surfer number three. Wow. 6.5. Wow. Okay. That, that is fantastic. Wow. That is such a cool cover. Now, what are these from, Joe? These are from uh, 1969, I believe. This, no, I'm sorry, 1968. Wow, that is so crazy. It's 6.5. And once he's the villain in everything, like we thought he was going to be, man, this comic is going to pop. I'll tell you, that's a very, very cool one. Off white pages, not shocking. 
But yeah, first appearance of Mephisto and Tales of the Watcher backup story. Very, very cool. Great. I like I like how they do that too. Whoops, over here. I like how they do that too to tell you why it's important. Yeah. And I haven't looked at the graders notes on these, but you get graders notes on on your comic books now. So it's very, very cool. I want to say the 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 membership cost me 150 bucks, but then the you get that much off in comic credit, book yeah. cr credit. So it's like, sure, sign me up for the membership. Absolutely. The pressing was $30 a piece, but I guarantee you if I sent those in, mm -hmm. they would not have gotten as well if I had just sent them directly. Yeah. You know, you got to do the pressing. All you right. You can't, last... can't be upset with those, no. those grades so far. No. So they did a fantastic job. They, they, they did a fantastic they job. They present really well, too, in they the do. slab. Like, you like just looking at it here on the video i i wouldn't know the difference between that and a little bit higher grade yeah looks really exactly nice. exactly all right this is our last one this is the most valuable one which is kind of surprising considering that number one isn't this is one where he uh battles thor on the cover it's a great cover very very awesome book this wow. is the one i really hope gets a gets the best grade so we will see all right here it is. Okay. This is Silver Surfer number four. Wow. Holy crap. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're a little bit shocked by that grade. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little shocked by the grade and I'm a little shocked by the value. <laughs> of this in a seven is ridiculous i didn't i looked at a seven as the high end this is this is nuts <laughs> this is absolutely wow crazy wow look at that cover too how know, iconic of awesome. a cover is that him coming right at thor so holy good. crap that is i got a greater in a good mood because i'm <laughs> i'm i'm shocked but i mean it presents really well it looks great but 7.5. Well, wow. I mean, they're very likely comic books that maybe Rob's dad had read one time and put in a box and they've been yep. there ever since. So. Yep. Probably. That's what, like, that's what happened. Crazy. So this one is Thor and Loki appearances, Hulk thing and Hercules, which Hercules is coming to the MCU or has come to the MCU. They have cameos and it's also got another tales of the watcher. So this is a big one. Wow. Oh, Wow. Like, I almost don't want to get rid of it, but it's almost too valuable not to. Well, Holy so crap. what is the value of that one? I want to say a seven was like $1,200. Wow. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, and it's got wh white pages. Wow. <laughs> I just noticed that. Holy crap. White pages. Wow. That yeah. is awesome. And the other reason the, the Silver Surfer stuff is so valuable, the early stuff is it's it's uh, Stanley's story. So Stanley mm -hmm. wrote the stories for the early Silver Surfer stuff. That is just wow. so great. That is so great. I, I couldn't have asked for anything better, honestly. honestly. I almost feel like instead of selling that, you should just like get like a nice big frame and frame it and hang it up as artwork. That'd be yeah. fantastic. These, they, they do. I mean, you, I don't know. Don't know if we can see it in the, in the camera now, but you display your green lantern mm -hmm. 9.8. I have mine and I have my death of Superman all, all displayed. These are really, really nice. The one thing I don't love about grading comic books is then you can never read it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? With cards, it's like, you can see the front, you can see the back. It doesn't really matter. With comic books is a little tougher, but you know, this is something you could probably buy for 10 bucks in a low end copy raw and read it if you wanted to anyway. Yeah. It's not like you can't have access to it or buy an anthology or, or something like that. But wow, I am blown <laughs> away. That was a fantastic reveal. Yeah. Amazing. I'm, like I'm when I saw that was a seven and a half, I was shocked too. <laughs> well, I'm not as shocked as you, but wow. What? Once I saw the 5.5 <laughs> and the 6.5, I'm like, I'm going to be so disappointed. If but it went 5.5, yeah, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5. My grader had a great night the night before. That's all I'm saying. So thank you to you. Make <laughs> sure to you. pay to get your comics pressed, I yes. guess, would be immoral to the story there, too. And and what what someone had told me or had, someone whose videos I watch on YouTube is uh, had told his viewers is, 
basically you want to have them pressed with the company that that CSG um, or CGC, I'm sorry, CGC um, uses because that way it they're going from the presser to the grader mm -hmm. instead of having a third party do it, pressing them, sending them back to you. Then yeah. you have to send them to CGC to get them graded. There's just too many hands touching it. So just my recommendation from this very successful yeah. first and probably only unboxing is go with the, the presser that uh, CGC uses and then just have it have it go all the way through. That was awesome. I'm not yeah. going to lie. That was, that was <laughs> absolutely a fun one. fantastic. So. Mike, hey, Silver Surfer guy yourself, I sent you a hologram. I'm jealous. You, yeah, I'm really jealous. Not going to lie. <laughs> A little bit thank, jealous. <laughs> thank you for joining me for this unboxing. This has been a good one. And we will catch you on the, uh, we'll probably go to retro trading cards on the next one, but we'll catch you later, guys.